Hi, this is Rick from Green Our Planet. Today we're in one of the school fruit orchards and I want to talk to you about fruit tree pruning. So pruning, when do you do it? Well, for most trees, um, and deciduous trees, trees that lose their leaves in the wintertime, you want to prune in the wintertime when they're asleep. The only trees that are not pruned when they're deciduous are citrus trees, and they're pruned in the spring or early summer after fruit is set. So the first steps of pruning a tree are identifying the tree. You wanna find out the age of the tree, the type of tree, and where the fruit is produced. That's going to guide your next pruning steps. Some trees are pruned to more of an open center. Some trees are pruned taller, like you'd see most landscape trees. And some trees are pruned open shape, kind of a bush shape. If you're gonna prune fruit trees, you're going to need the right equipment. And what I have here is a pair of loppers. This is for larger cuts pair of bypass pruners. This will be for most cuts, most smaller cuts on the tree. Pruning saw for larger cuts. Alcohol for sanitizing your tools, either in between each cut or definitely in between each tree. And of course, gloves. You can wear heavier gloves, leather gloves, if you're working around a lot of thorns. I like lighter gloves because they're not as heavy. The first type of cuts you should be making on your fruit trees are the large structural or thinning cuts. These cuts are made using your loppers or your pruning saws and they help develop the structure of the tree and open up the tree for the smaller cuts which should come after this. I'm going to show you not only maintenance pruning on a mature orchard as opposed to younger trees that you're building and I'm going to show you a little bit of rehab pruning. So let's go into the orchard and I'll show you how to take care of a more mature established tree. So the next tree we're going to prune is this apricot. She's beautiful, she's big. This is what you would consider a mature tree. She's way too tall for what I'd like. Apricots are pretty forgiving. They allow you to drop a lot of their height. Unlike peaches, where if you cut into the older wood, you're not gonna get any fruit on that branch. Apricots are not that way. They'll allow you to bring the size down and reestablish the tree in a lower height. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're going to clean this tree out a little bit, but not much. They like to be a little crowded, a little messy inside. And we're gonna bring the height down probably take a few of these lower branches out just to bring the fruit production up off the ground a little bit more. So let's get to it. Normally, when you first establish a tree, you start your first branches about knee height. This tree is a little lower than I'd really like to see it, but there's not really anything we can do about that right now without starting a whole new tree. But I do want to take out some of these lower branches I'm not going to get rid of these big, beautiful fruit producing branches, but I am going to take out some of this lower growth that gets in my way when I want to get underneath the tree to work on the irrigation or maybe do some planting around it. So you always start at the base of the tree. You always start with the biggest growth with your loppers. I'm going to take just these lower branches. Clean up the inside of the tree a little bit. Not much. There's a branch on the other side that I want to take off. It also has my tag on it, so I'm going to make sure I don't lose that. This branch over here is completely underneath all the other branches and serves no purpose. So I'm just going to cut it off right at the base. So we're going to use the saw for this branch because of the angle. I didn't feel comfortable using my loppers. And I do want to cut the branch correctly at that collar. 
Like I said, this has my tree tag, so I'm gonna make sure I keep an eye on that branch. That's not gonna go too far. When I'm walking around the tree, I see a few branches that are crossing. So in deciding which one of these branches I'm gonna keep, I am gonna keep this one, and I'm gonna take this branch out. So again, with my saw, I'm gonna get down there, make sure I'm at the right angle. You can spin your saw around the branch if it helps. That helps keep from damaging the other branch. Make those nice clean cuts. As you cut things, throw them out of your way. You don't wanna be tripping over any branches, any work. So as I walk around the tree, I can see a few more crossing branches. And that's one of the hardest things that you're going to have to deal with when you're looking at your trees. You have to make decisions on what branches to keep and what branches not to keep. So I'm looking at this and I'm seeing my crossing branches here. And I like the angle of this branch here. I don't like the angle of this one quite so much. And when I follow it down, I can see that it's a really easy branch to prune off. So I'm gonna take this one. And now I have to decide which one of these to take. I think it's gonna be this one. When you're looking at your branches, you're always thinking about final fruit size. You're thinking about spacing. I have about the same spacing between these two branches here. So I'm taking this one out. Now I've got a nice open, even space between my branches. I've got that upward growth I'm looking at. Remember, we're gonna bring this tree down. So this tree is probably gonna end up at about my height, about six feet. Got a branch here. It's growing up in the wrong direction. Center growth. And upward facing growth. Remember, always downward and upward facing branches, they go. Except for pear. So, I'm not gonna worry about this upper growth because I am gonna cut this off. I'm just kind of walking around the tree and seeing what works and what doesn't. Let's start bringing down the height a little bit. You don't have to get too picky about apricots. You don't have to really look for that outward facing bud. Anything that's growing in the wrong direction, you can always cut it off later and you can do spring pruning and handle all that. So I'm going about head height. I'm just gonna go through. And just cut it off like that. I'm gonna do that on the whole entire tree just to bring the height down. So if you can see me constantly looking back, I'm doing that to judge the height that I want my tree at. So everything's all roughly at the same height. Not too particular about it, but I wanna do it right the first time. Now when you're doing pruning like this, naturally you're gonna lose a little bit of fruit production. But if you think about it, all this fruit production is above head height. So chances are the birds were gonna get it anyways. I don't have anything against feeding birds. We need to keep them happy too. But I am growing this for our use. We got one more cut here in the center. I'm gonna bring that down below all that growth. So now that we've got our trimming done, you can really see where some of the crossing branches are. I've got one here, I've got one here. After you identify them, you just have to decide which one you want to take. So 
So I brought the height down. I'll cut it about this height every year, give or take. The cuts I did today will force more branching lower on the tree. Hopefully I'll get a few more branches down at this level because I really want this open area in here to fill in a little bit more. We've got this big planter around the tree. I at least want to grow the tree as big as the planter. And right now we've got a couple of feet to deal with between here and there. So that's one of the reasons I made that, that uh, heading cut at the top. I took that general, that central leader out. That'll force branching down here. It remains to be seen come springtime when the tree wakes back up, whether that will be the top six inches or the lower six inches. And if that turns out to be the case that it's up here, I'll simply cut this tree down a little bit more next year. Move those branch structures farther down the tree. But we're done. This tree is pruned and cut. Doesn't take much time when you're doing maintenance pruning. You can do this every year in 15, 20 minutes once you do a couple. And you shouldn't really be spending any more time than a half an hour, 40 minutes on each individual tree. Once you have them pruned correctly and growing with the right branches, you won't need to come in and change too much about it. Apricot. Hi, this is Rick from Green Our Planet. Thanks for watching.